Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about where to place your prisms onto your heroes. So before we jump in, please take a moment to smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And uh, yeah, so for placing our, our uh, prisms onto the heroes, this is a complex question and honestly there is no right reason or or right placement uh for a general sense it's kind of like your artifacts uh so it really depends on the artifact how many stars it has uh the heroes that that you have if you're not maxed out levels uh, say you're still progressing in the game leveling up then where your heroes are at your hero research there's so many little factors and when it comes to the prisms it is even higher when it comes to all of this. So when it comes to the prisms, um, it really depends on what type of uh, combo you make, if you make a combo at all. So uh, let, let's jump right in and let's take a quick peek at a couple things. So the first thing is, say say we're like a, a normal player, we don't have like any crazy spending, we're, we're, we're not a whale, uh, we're just like a, a normal free to play player and we don't have any true and we don't have any fine uh, like shards or rubies or amethyst, whatever. If we're one of these these people, then what, what we can do is we can just do massive boosts to our troops, either the health or attack, same thing with the heroes. Um, so this is always a good option uh, to, to go for. I mean, if you have nothing else or if you don't have like a crazy good combo, you can boost up your dragon attack, uh, hero attacks, your, your troop health, your tr troop attack. So when you do that on the shard, it honestly doesn't matter where this shard is placed. So if it's just a generic increase uh, your troop health or whatever, you can put it on anybody. And you know what? If that hero dies, your troops still get that, those bonuses because the bonuses from the shards, not the combos. This is different than the combos. If you have a combo, the hero has to be there. But just the shard bonuses, like the thing that's on the screen right now, that it is uh, it's like a purple dragon skill. As long as it's uh, there, it's going to affect everything, including your garrison troops. It does not have to be deployed in order to get the bonus, which that also implies that if the hero dies, the bonus will stay out there. So when it comes to these shards, it honestly does not matter where you put them or these prisms. It does not matter which hero you put them on. Uh, it just it, it doesn't matter. So when uh, when we start looking at things like combinations, so for example, uh, this combination increases uh, the dragon's health and it also gives them like the dragon's mage set. What we have to determine is what is the shard combination and who does it benefit? So for example, this one benefits the dragon. Uh, this is huge for the dragon specifically. That being said, I want this on a hero that's going to live long enough to make this shard useful because the, com the combination, the combo, isn't necessarily going to be uh, active if the hero is dead. So when it comes to a shard like this one, where it doesn't have a huge impact on the individual hero, it affects the dragon, then you're going to look for a hero that's a relatively safe hero that's going to live long enough and uh, not die. And that way you can get the full, full bonuses. And I don't know why I'm turning purple. <laughs> Now, when we look at other combinations, so I'll go find uh, the one for Belrog. When we when we look at other combinations, such as uh, one that gives massive defensive bonuses to the hero, and specifically for the hero, then what what you're going to want to do is find a tanky hero to put it on. I know it sounds kind of uh, really simple, but it is. So in, in this game, Art of Conquest, you want to take your uh, your strengths or the extreme things in you want to play off of those especially with these percentage things so this offers 22 percent more health to the hero and then it has a second portion which when every time the hero gets attacked it reduces the damage output by whomever is attacking him for this situation you would want to put this on on a tank if if you suck this on like a uh, avalon yeah avalon will have 22 percent more health uh, and he has that uh, ability thing or whatever but it, it's really wasted. You're going to get, get the biggest benefit from the hero-specific shards that increase uh, the tankiness uh, of a hero if you place that onto a tanky hero. Likewise, I don't have it. Uh, I wonder if we can find it. If we go under like the, the shard overview. 
uh, and we go under where is the uh, the 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 Thunder God one? Uh, it's a really really big one right now. Pretty much everybody that has it that that puts it on Nora uh, has a huge huge uh, advantage over somebody that does not have it. And I don't know exactly where it, it's located, uh, just because um, you know I, I don't have it. So, anyways, it's somewhere in here. It's the Thunder one. Um, when, when we do have that one, what happens is it does a lot more damage uh, to for, like from the hero. The hero is going to do a lot more damage. In that situation, you're really going to want to put that onto a dragon. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to want to put that onto a hero that does a lot of damage or attacks really, really fast to proc it in the sense of the, the Thunder one. Um, so anyways, I, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. And, and you want to play to the strength. So if you have something that offers uh, bonuses to your hero damage, or say it's a bonus to um, uh, the attack or accuracy, something like that, put it on a hero that is really going to benefit. Don't, don't just throw it on like Vega. Because Vega is not going to get any use out of it. If you have a shard that uh, really accents the tankiness of a hero, place that on, on a hero as far as the combos. And if you have uh, something that benefits the dragon, put it on a hero that's going to survive for a while. Now, the there is one, uh, one other option that, that we can look at. And what that looks like is a little, little combination like this one. Sorry, this prism is really low. But if we put uh, this type of prism on... It has one two two combo thing and it increases the damage dealt to heroes. So I threw this on Ophidius and honestly, it's not bad. The top shard, uh, I believe, what does the top shard do? Is that dragon stuff or hero? So it increases uh, the attack and healing efficiency of all heroes. So it's it's not a bad one as is. But the big takeaway is this is going to increase uh, Ophidius's damage to heroes, which is always a good thing, and. Uh, with the rest of, of the stuff, it's going to increase the troop attack. So like that purple dragon skill portion, uh, in this case the shard bonus, it's still going to work well if Ophidius dies or when she does because, o let's face it, Ophidius is highly targeted. So I'm not going to put on like a crazy rune thing, I mean a crazy shard thing on her just because she has such a high likelihood of dying. Uh, and hopefully she lives, that, that, that's the goal. But Ophidius is very... Um, Targeted often. So I'll put on the, this shard bonus where it will just accent everything, whether she's on the field or off. I mean, she's always going to be on, but if she dies, everything is still going to get the bonus. So that should give you guys a, a little bit of insight on um, where to put everything. Now, there is nothing perfect with this. It, if you find somebody that, that's telling you this is the only place to, to put uh, your three prisms, and they don't really go into depth with it. I'd really question that because just like with the artifacts, there isn't. Uh, it, it's a really hard question to answer if you don't know all of the rune possibilities, or, or I'm sorry, the prism uh, possibilities. I don't know why I keep calling them runes. So it really depends on what combinations you can get. If you can't get like any of the like top uh, six shard combo things or whatever. There's still many other things that you can do, like increasing the attack and uh, or doing like the, the one that I have on Ophidius to increase the damage against heroes. You combine that with the hero pred dragon and you can do some really, really cool stuff with it. And you don't need the top tier stuff. However, for the individual heroes that you put them on, try out different things. One of the really unique things with the uh, shard system or the prisms in general is... Number one, there is no cooldown for resetting them. You can reset them at any point in time, which makes uh, trying out different things huge. And what I mean by resetting is, like, I can uh, I can detach this, and I can also put one on it, uh, whichever one it is. Uh, I'll, I'll do it afterwards. So you can take these off. You can put them on. Um, there is no no cooldown overall for it all, uh, which means that when it comes to testing and possibilities, you don't you aren't limited like chakra, chakra, your temple stuff like that. As soon as, or your even your dragon skills. Once you do a reset. Uh, it, you have to wait a significant period of time. So with the prisms, you don't have to wait. So what that means is go into dual towers. 
do what you think makes sense for you in whatever uh, prisms and shard combos you have and try it out. If it doesn't work, uh, like try it out for like 10, 20 duels or wh whatever it looks like, like really get a good feel for it. If it's not working for you or if you want to try something else out, do it. You don't have to spend any Lunari. You don't have to wait. You can just equip it, uh, take it off. Uh, you can move it hero to hero. You can do some really cool stuff, guys. So definitely try it out. Anyways, um, I think uh, I think I'll leave the video here for for now. Uh, we'll have some other cool stuff coming up this week. So as always, please uh, drop drop a like, uh, share it if you want to share it in your house. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. In the uh, description of this video, in all the videos, there's some cool stuff. We have the uh, OGC Community Discord, where if you guys want to come hang out, chat, it's a great place to do so. We have the merch store, where, where you guys can get some cool merch, su support the channel that way. And we also have Patreon, so feel free to check out Patreon. Thank you to the Patreons, both past and present, because of you guys, we can keep doing this. So, until tomorrow, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care.